What is going on guys? Welcome to another FTV review. Today we got an unbiased review of the Wimius video projector. Now I've seen a bunch of reviews online. It looks like everybody got paid to say what they said. And one caveat that I have compared to those reviews to what I'm going to be showing you, none of them really used a projector screen. If you're gonna be using a projector, especially a cheap one, you're gonna want a screen. When you project right onto the wall, you lose so much quality, so much of the image, so much of the brightness and everything. You want a screen. But what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna compare this Wimius against the HomePow projector, which is my staple budget projector. I got it last year for the Super Bowl. Right up there. There it is. And I love it. I've been using it ever since. But let's go ahead and get into this review. Now one other thing about the Wimmy is it's supposed to be somewhat of a name brand for projectors. On like the Home Pow and the other projectors. We got a P61 user manual. Little Q&A. Screen cloth. Can never have too many of these. AV connecting units. And this is the plug. There it is. Wow. This foot just came right off. Yeah, these just... These don't stick well at all. So my initial thought, it's small, it's lightweight, it's... The remote... I will say this is my home power remote and this is this remote. Not much of a difference. I think I saw it's rated at like a 280 ANSI lumens. Uh, ANSI lumens is very important because what ANSI lumens does is it's how bright your image will be, especially in a well lit room. Obviously where I record, it's very well lit. So I'm going to see how the projector does in a well lit area. My home pal does okay, not the greatest. But here we are with the Wimius, and we're gonna see if it can outperform the Home Pow. Alright, guys, here's a full shot of everything that comes with it, all unboxed, and we're gonna get it up there on the wall. Alright, so what I'm gonna do right now is turn the Home Pow projector on to its home screen, and that's it. You can see it's pretty bright. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the Wimius on. Right on top of it, and we're gonna see which one's brighter. All right, here we go, right out of the box. Like I said, I'm just gonna turn it on and see what we got. All right, I'm gonna just put it right up to the other one and show you the difference. Uh, it's definitely a lot sharper from what I can see right now, and possibly a little brighter. Just look at the hue of blue, how much better it is. Uh, the oranges are better. Everything from what I see, the whites are a little bit more enhanced. And they're a little more muted on the home pow and everything. So after dialing it in a little bit better, it's even much better of a picture. Basically, I just changed some of the settings. I'll show you guys real quick. 60 contrast, 55 brightness, 55 color, and 55 sharpness. It's just a little bit more than dynamic, but it just adds so much more to the picture. So like I said, guys, this is bright light. Uh, you can just tell how much easier it is to read the Wimius projector over the um, Home Pow. It's night and day. It, this is a well-lit room. I can't, I have, I always had trouble reading the scores on the Home Pow. This one is just great. But the picture was fine for me, but the picture is so much better on the new one. Black levels. I dialed in a little bit better. It's just so much more sharper, crisper. A real quick comparison at night. You can see that the Wimius is just so much better. 
This was the reference. Honestly, the movie is almost as bright as my MacBook, which is great. The only problem is it doesn't have any keystone corrections, so when it's up there, it's no good. It has to be tabletop. I did get to play around with it a little bit more. I want to leave my final thoughts on what I think about the Wimius projector. Um, for a budget projector, it's really good. It's really easy to carry with you. Portability, take it wherever you go, hotels, shows, anything. Um, you could take it outside, not be too worried about it getting damaged. As far as being in the price range of south of $100, I definitely would recommend this. It's better than the Home Pal. The Home Pal was about $100 as well, and it's just got a lot better sharpness, better brightness, and everything. Over $100, I think the retail value is like around $170. You can find better projectors for the $170 price range, but this is not a bad projector at all. As far as daytime viewing, this is not bad. You can definitely see it. We did mirror cast it too. Uh, with my son's phone to see how that was and it was seamless you set this up you connect it to your internet and then as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network you're good to go it's definitely great it's a lot better than mine especially for daytime viewing and I watch football during the day when you're watching games when you're watching like NFL games and stuff since it's so bright this is actually really good for like dark movies, I probably wouldn't recommend. The black light isn't terrible, but it's not the best either. One negative thing to mention about projectors in this class is, uh, especially this one holds true. If you're not projecting straight onto the screen, there's no auto correction. There's no keystone correction. You can't change anything. So that's one negative it has to be directly centered with the screen i definitely recommend it for like i said for under a hundred dollars you can't beat it a really good price point all right guys i hope you enjoyed this review i hope it was helpful smash that like share it and we'll see you soon peace